What's going on everybody? It's Brandon with Jarhead Diagnostics. On this one, I'm coming at you with a slightly different one. Uh, I had a customer approach me. They needed a PCM for a 2015, I believe it was, uh, Dodge Ram 1500 with 3.6. That PCM is on intergalactic back order. We cannot get them. And these PCMs are locked to the VIN, meaning once the PCM is programmed to the vehicle, it cannot be taken out and programmed in your normal sense to another vehicle. So what we had to do was <clears throat> read the EEPROM data from one and input it into the other. So follow along with me as I get into that and let's go for it. Shut up and sit down. All right, so the first thing first whenever you go to do any type of EEPROM work is you need to disassemble the PCM as much as you can to get down to the board work. So that's what we're going to do to this one. Um, this one is pinned over and then it's also got um, like a silicone RTV around it. So we'll have to use a heat gun and kind of try and get that to release. So let's get into that real quick. <laughs> All right, all right, so now we got these kind of deep in back. I'm gonna use my heat gun on my soldering station. <clears throat> if you're wanting to get into any type of board work or EEPROM work, you're definitely gonna need a hot air station and a soldering gun. Um, I'm not gonna tell you which one to buy because I'm still trying to get into it, so I don't really know which one's the brand to have. Um, the one I have is 2Auto, and so far it's been good to me. So, here we go. Alright, now that we got this disconnect or the cover off of it, next thing is to find the EEPROM. Um, every board is different. Every board has a different um, EEPROM in it on how it's set up. Um, some of them's the MCU, some of them's the EEPROM. Um, I've done one of these boards before, so I already know which one it is on this board. But this one is a, oh, what is it? an ATMEL EEPROM, which is right here. <clears throat> and just to verify, I'm gonna throw on my geek glasses. If you're wanting to get into board work, I definitely recommend either some glasses similar to these or a um, microscope. All right. Now on this one, we're actually going to read it on board, meaning I'm not going to pull this chip off. So some boards, they will actually put a thin coating over them um, to help out with corrosion. So what you need to do is make sure you kind of clean that off just a little bit with a wire brush. Now don't go crazy on it because you can get through all the green coating. You just want to get a little bit done. Now, once you got that kind of wiped off, I personally like to take just a little bit of alcohol mixture and clean it up some. I'll probably have 57 people in the comments tell me, no, don't do that. That's what I do. And then I'll just take my heat gun and just kind of dry that alcohol up just a little bit. All right, so once we got that wiped down and cleaned up, the next thing is gonna be to set up our EEPROM e e reader. So there are many different types. Once again, I'm not the master at this. Um, <clears throat> I have a Mini Pro and then I also have my IM608. So on this one, we're gonna do the IM608. Get that 
that out. Then you're going to need the XP400, or if you've got the newer one, it's the XP400 Pro. All right, so once we have the IM608 set up, you just go to Programmer, if you get it hooked up. Programmer, accept. There we go, it's a little better for you guys. Now, this we're reading the chip EEPROM, chip read write. We're doing an EEPROM. Remember, I said this is an ATMEL. And then this one is a, grab a look. This is where the glasses kind of come in handy. This one is a 253208N. Two five three two zero. E E prom. Now we need to read. Read. Read was successful. So now we want to save this. I'm just going to label it for what it is. Save. Now the data is saved. <clears throat> so we're going to swip switch over to the new, or actually on this one, it is a used PCM. So we're going to swap over to that one and write it. All right, so this is the used PCM that we're going to be installing on this vehicle. Let's connect up and see if we can read it. I've already set this one up to go. Chip not detected. And this one red. So it's back out of here. Let's write. And this one was the 2014 3.6 original ECU. Okay. Chip write was successful. Let's go back and read just to verify. It looks like it saved it. Um, I don't really know how to decipher all this. I'm not that smart. There are plenty of smarter people in this world that can. But it looks like this one was saved. So we're good on this one. Now let's get it all put back together and then we'll go out to the vehicle and install it and see what happens. All right, she's all put back together, ready to go. We'll get this back to the customer and we'll see what happens. Here's the original. And as you can see, it has read the VIN number. 
so our EEPROM write was successful. All right, some takeaways from this. Um, afterwards, I found out after discussing with some different people, the XP400 Pro is kind of hit or miss on whether or not it'll give you the proper data. Um, I was lucky enough on mine that it read the data properly and then inputted it properly, uh, but there is instances where it didn't read the proper data and transfer it. It was corrupt. So don't always rely on just one tool for doing this job because if you only had the one and it didn't read it properly, then you'd be up creek without a paddle. Another thing, never, ever, ever delete your files. So always keep them just in case you try and write over something and you mess up, you've always got that file saved. Um, but other than that, it's, it's normally pretty straightforward. You just, if you're doing it on board, you just read on board programming on board and you don't have to do much. Thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys on the next one. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you think I was stupid on the way I did it, comment down below. If you just have any type of discussions on this subject, comment down below. Let's all kind of get into a chat and figure out how to raise this industry up. I'll see you guys on the next one. Always remember, did you die today, bro?